Hi and welcome back to the channels boys and girls It's a glorious Sunday morning In April I remember what the date is <laughs> But yeah, glorious morning So I thought I'll come out It's the week after the uh, bank holiday uh, Where I did my North Wales road trip You'll be seeing this Early May I will be sunning it up in Greece well, I'll get that point out of the way. So yeah, I've had the bank a few videos. It's quite breezy today. I must admit. Um, so the audio is all right. I'm going on at a fair lick, to be fair. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd do this vlog uh, just to uh, bank a couple of videos. So uh, I was going to go out for a ride anyway. So I thought, well, why not take you with me for a little bit? Anyway. I don't know what I've titled this video, <laughs> what's going on here, <coughs> but yes, I have demodded the bike a little bit, not massively, <laughs> well, in a minute we'll pull over and I'll show you what I've uh, demodded, but, all clear, thank you very much, um, glorious, look at that, anyone who's uh, hay fever suffering has Plenty of uh, rapeseed fields here in the UK at the moment, especially where I live. So, yeah, got itchy eyes galore at the moment. So, uh, yeah, it's not nice for us hay fever sufferers, but uh, I do love this time of year though. It's fresh, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, summer gloves, leather jacket on. Even though it's Sunday, I would say quiet roads, but I think that tractor's held up this traffic for quite a while, so uh, behind this lot, but it gives us a chance to talk. But yeah, so what's happened uh, since my since the North Wales road trip? Well, I broke that video down into two parts, as you could tell. It was just the size of it. Um, I thought I'd just knock it down into two. Um, so I hope my regulars don't mind me doing that. Um, they were quite unfiltered videos. Obviously, they've not even been released by the time I'm doing this, so I hope you like them. Um, I literally just put them in and uh, left it as a, as I said, it was a bit of a lads road trip. But uh, yeah, it's very scenic, and it's day dry, guys. It's day dry. What's going on? Normally, when I do one, it at least rains a little bit, but it, it it rained over the night before we left, so it was a little bit damp right at the beginning in places, but. There was a uh, sort of 38% chance of rain in most of the areas we went on the first day, so uh, I think one went up to like 50 something, uh, hence why I, I decided to do textiles and waterproofs. But yeah, it was, uh, was dry, so brilliant. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed those two videos. And uh, yeah, I, I've had this bike a year. Believe it or not, I've had this bike a year. Well, a year since I purchased it, and the reason why I got reminded is I had the bloody uh, tax come through, road tax on license, and I was like, oh shit! Didn't realise that crept quite quite so far because obviously in the UK, I'm not sure if it's the same elsewhere. You get your road fund license uh, with the bike you purchase when you buy it new, free for the first year. Well, it's not free; it's just included in the list price. Um, so, well, let's go left because everyone's going that way. Um, yeah, so yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I crept up quite quickly that, and uh, a year, man. So it's. Uh, I did it, but yeah, I got the letter through from the DVLA, which control the road fund licenses and stuff like that, and your driving licenses in the UK. And uh, yeah, ninety-six pound for a year. I went, oh, happy days. Put it on the side for about a week. And then went, all oh, right, well, I better go do that. So I did. And I, at the, s the same time, I had the Triumph letter about the second year free RAC cover, uh, which is like the breakdown service cover you get free with the bike. Obviously, you get the second year free too. So I've done that as well. So happy day. So she's, uh, hello. She's on the uh, road again for another year. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 96 quid. I went, oh, okay, not so bad, you know. But I left it a week and then I done it. You go online, typed in the code they give you to do the uh, like the reference code for your bike. 101. You 
don't send a letter out saying how much it's going to be you've got up to this point to tax your bike to then go onto your system and hit 101 yes it's five pound I, 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 but the state of our roads i just thought you're taking the piss and you i've literally gone there and you put an extra fiver on now with the road fund license you can pay it monthly you can pay it uh, all out i just buy it all out it's done you don't have to worry about it you forget about it for a year like i forgot about mine um so yeah I, I paid it but i'm like you're taking a piss you don't send a letter out saying how much it's going to be for a year and then put it up. Now I knew they were messing with uh, tax codes for bikes, cars and here in the UK but you don't send something official out and then it'd be dearer when you go to do it online. So uh, yeah I was a bit miffed. I'm sure I probably could have gone, I don't know, you could still do the old post office with your form and do it that way. I don't know. I just did it online uh, uh, but I was like in the age where you know global economies aren't the best everything's going more expensive you know when you get a quote you get a quote in my eyes so yeah that kind of annoyed me this week so my little rant there but good things had the bike nearly a year yeah it's probably about a year i got it really early may didn't i so um so yeah happy days and yeah i will do a uh, living with a year's video on the bike you know because my six month video you know, I've ploughed quite a few more miles on since then. Um, where should we go? Uh, let's go this way. A little bit of crap on the road there. But it's... Uh, Woohoo! The guy has to speed limits there, isn't it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, so that kind of annoyed me. But, yeah, so modding what if i what if i demodded on the bike well i haven't pulled over yet so i'll just put a photo on in a minute um i've taken the luggage rail off it literally as i said it was it's it was one into the suspension top of the suspension that one there which goes into the frame and it's one just under the seat that's it two bolts and those uh so i know a lot of people don't like them because they look hideous and stuff and to be honest it looks better without when I fitted them, I knew I was going on this uh, North Wales road trip, so I, I kind of left them on after I fitted them on. Uh, but yeah, they're in a road trip for a few months, at least. They may be. We're still in the middle of uh, discussing that. But it is holiday season, and most of my mates have got young families, so uh, <laughs> you have to work it around things like that. But uh, yeah, I, I've, ta I've taken it off. I'll put a video a photo on the screen now, and I can show you another photo of literally, it is just two bolts. And on those panniers, Hepto and Becker, and yeah, it just cleans it up again, makes it look uh, factory fresh again. But yeah, it, it literally is like five minutes, and that's probably including finding your bloody tool set. So um, yeah, really, really, uh, that's why I bought them. I wanted something simple. I know you can get like the, the blaze saddle bags, which have the things you need the connectors on. You just take the supports out with, when you don't need them, but. This is literally, it's completely stock again, with two bolts either side, so happy days, yeah, that's, that's what I've done, I've demodded that, but yeah, this video vlog, like I said, it's rambling, rambling on, it's the weekend of the Italian F1 at Imola, I don't know what they're calling it, something slightly different on this year, but um, I watched the sprint race yesterday, that was quite entertaining. I, I, I do quite like the sprint race. I don't know what you guys think. Leave a comment below if you are into the F1 and what do you think of the sprint race? I just think it, uh, it just freshens it up a little bit and it's great although you know the tyres were going off towards the end with uh, Charles Leclerc but uh, Max had him on the last last lap or so but uh, it was great. They're there and thereabouts. Obviously that race, Sunday race hasn't taken place because it's Sunday today so that's why I went out in the morning and then go I'm going to have a nice ride out, go home, start watching some of the touring cars, the British touring cars, and then the F1. <laughs> ah, poo all over the road. Get off, my bike's clean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful day, eh? So, um, yeah, before I get out early in the morning, do a quick vlog. But, yeah, when you're seeing this, yes, don't feel sorry for me. 
I am beaching it up in Greece in the Halkidiki area with the family first abroad holiday since before the pandemic like a year before that so uh, it's much needed you know we had to reschedule the holiday like a lot of people did uh, when you couldn't fly out so uh, yeah look forward to that restrictions in Greece are also being dropped from the 1st of May so hopefully it's all a lot nicer out there and a bit more normality so uh, but yeah looking forward to that so uh, and we're all doing it because yeah the weekend bef before this video was released beginning of May it's my birthday my 40th birthday it's not just the bikes uh, year old birthday it's my 40th birthday so yeah life is good so yeah I didn't not, not really plan anything for that so, or anything obviously because we're going abroad we didn't want uh, any of the household catching Covid or anything so uh, probably have some beers when I get back though with the lads so uh, but yeah no all good so uh, I, I will probably leave it there guys alright um, I know it's a bit of a waffle vlog but aren't they sometimes the best I hope you guys if you're getting out where the weather is alright and I will catch you on the next one if you, like you said if you're riding out be safe alright guys I'll see you soon. Woo!